The Lady Miyaka was trapped inside a fantasy world created by Tomo's spell. Amiboshi rescued her from this life-threatening peril, even though he is also one of the Seriu Seven. Ready to give his life, Amiboshi himself was rescued from Tomo's clutches by his twin brother, Suboshi. Suboshi who still carried a terrible hatred in his heart for the Lady Miyaka. No! You've got it all wrong! Yui wasn't right! Ah! I will defile you the same way that she was defiled! Suboshi, grab the priestess. Just keep reading, Tetsuya. For right now, reading is about all we can do. If this guy does anything to me, I'm gonna jump off this cliff too. Are you really dead? Tamahome? It's been quite a while, Suboshi. Have you forgotten about me? I am Tamahome of the Suzaku Seven, and I've come for the priestess of Suzaku. Tamahome! Demon! How did you get here? If you don't want to get blown away by my life force, then get the hell away from Miyaka! Now! Go ahead, try if you want to! You'll get your precious little priestess, too! Tamahome! Miyaka! Tamahome! Low-life thug! Tsumushi! Unless you want to end up a pile of ashes, you better behave yourself. I can't let Tamahome have all the glory here. Kasuki! We got ourselves into some trouble, you know. Chichiri! Chiriko! Mitsukake! <sighs> so, what are you gonna do, Suboshi? <sighs> Amiboshi. Amiboshi did save my life. Thank you. Miyaka, are you alright? You're still alive, and you're fine. Oh, thank God. You're alright. Oh, I'm sorry I couldn't come to help you sooner. Everything's all right now. It is. It is. You know, we almost died too. You happy to see us? Oh, sure. Wonderful. Great. Now wipe those stupid looks off your faces. We were all caught in Tomo's desert illusion, you know? Yeah. You know I wouldn't leave you here. Even if I was mortally wounded, I wouldn't. I'm sure you wouldn't, Tamahome, but... Hmm? That creepy old guy keeps staring at me. <laughs> How dirty old man, you! How dare you call your master a dirty old man! Master? Look, they're all fast asleep. They were all worn out from their ordeal, but they should recover quickly. Don't you need to get a little rest, too? Yes, ma'am. But how is that man Tamahome's master? Once, long ago, the master went out traveling and apparently stayed in Conan for a while. He taught Tamahome how to fight and some scholastics as well. Really? In Conan? I miss it so much. And I wonder if Hotohori's safe. 
We finally made it here to Cyro. Now we have to get the other Shinzoho as quickly as possible. And then get back the first Shinzoho that was stolen from us in Hokan. But before that, I have to meet with Yui and fix things between us. Miyaka. Ah! Oh, geez, you're so clumsy. You trip when there's nothing for you to trip over. Yeah, I know. It's my specialty. So, what were you two talking about out here in the woods? This is the last time. Uh? The last time we kiss because I can't love you anymore. <sighs> Just forget about me. It's all for the best. Goodbye, Miyaka. I can't love you anymore. This is the last time. Why would he say that? And so sudden, it's almost cruel. After he gave me such a good deep kiss, too! Chitty, <laughs> you always seem to be around right when I need you, you know? So tell me, what's a good deep kiss anyway? Well, it's sort of... um... Never mind that. Are you okay? Oh, I'm doing much better now, you know. Oh, yeah. I want you to take a look at this. Hmm? I see. You've broken up with her. That's good. It may be hard, but this is best for both of you. No matter how much you love each other, your love will never, ever be consummated. That is your destiny. There's one more thing I must tell you. That wood is rotten, so I wouldn't lean on it if I were you. Should I just keep looking into the mirror like this? The picture will come soon, you know. Miyaka? Hattori! Your Highness! I'm sorry for how late this report is, you know. Do not trouble yourself over it. You both seem in good health. What about the others? Is everyone all right? Yeah, we're all exactly the same as we were. I'm glad. Well then, what about the Shinzaho? I'm sorry. We had one in our hands, but Nakuko stole it. But there's another one here in Cyro, and we're going to do our best to find it. Miyaka, take care of yourself and try not to push yourself into any danger. If anything goes wrong, you and Tamahome will never be able to be together. <laughs> I want you and Tamahome to be happy. Once we get the Shinzaho and summon Suzaku and ensure the future of the Konan Empire. While I cannot be there at your side to defend you, I constantly pray for your safety and success. Utohori. Now cheer up, dear. I'm sure Kaika will come back to us someday. Sir, come quick! 
Your son's outside, and it looks like he's been hurt. Kaika! He's all right. He's just asleep. Amiboshi, the next time you open your eyes, you really will be their long-lost son. Forget about all of it. The Seiryu Seven, the Suzaku Seven, even me. You are a loving, gentle person. Fighting doesn't suit you. Farewell, brother. What are you trying to say? That Suboshi killed Tomo? Yes. He left here with revenge on his mind, but instead allowed the Suzaku party to arrive here unharmed. You may all leave us now. Yes, sir. What's wrong, Lady Yui? Tell me. I'm scared. It's like destiny is rearranging everything in some kind of unseen order. And it's all slipping away from me bit by bit. Lady Yui, no matter what happens, I'm always here for you. You have nothing to fear. Are you sure about that? Of course I am, because I love you, and I always have. <clears throat> the priestess of Seriu should not become your rival in love, Soy. Hmm? Miboshi! Emperor himself is praying for Tamahome and I to be happy together. So before we find the Shinzaho, I have to clear things up with Tamahome. Tamahome? Oh, who's that girl? And why do they seem so friendly? I... Won't let it get to me. Miyaka? Huh? I was just about to prepare dinner. We have to make sure everyone eats a few good meals to get their strength back. Good meals to give them strength. The best way to a man's heart is... I would like to help you make it. Jifang, the priestess of Suzaku, says she'll help us with the cooking. Master and his wife's daughter, Shifang? Oh, no. They were kind enough to take me in when my father died last year. About Tamahome. So what is your relationship to him, anyway? I'm basically his girlfriend. Although that's questionable right now. Oh, I didn't realize that. You seem more like his little sister. I stayed with him and took care of him the entire night after he fell off the cliff, you know. girl take care of him isn't enough to change Tamahome's heart. At least, I don't think it is. What is that building on the top of that mountain there? Oh, that's the old temple, where hundreds of monks study and live. You see the small tower right below it? There's a legend about it. A legend? If a man and woman kiss on top of it at the exact moment the sun sets, then nothing in this world will ever tear them apart. But no one's allowed near there now. Huh? They say monsters appear there, and a lot of couples have been hurt and even died. That can't be! And by the way, your food is boiling over and it smells like it's burning.
Dear, hmm? don't you feel sorry for those poor, unhappy children? Would you prefer I let them go on, knowing their love will only bring them grief? Well, no, I wouldn't, but still. He shouldn't be so girl-crazy that he forgets his duty as a celestial warrior. Though she does have a nice little tush, and whoa, whoa, whoa talk about succulent thighs! Who said anything about tushes or thighs? <laughs> I wish I'd practice cooking a little more in my home at class. So, you and your wife were once part of the Biako 7? Well, excuse us for living. Of course, it has been 90 years since we were on active duty. I am Tokaki, and she is Subaru. The Shinzoho that you seek belongs to Tatara, another member of the Biako 7. Oh, really? We did it, and this time we'll get that thing! Certainly. We will, you know. Sure. We'll need okay. Sure. Come on, it's time to eat. Huh? Yeah, eat, yeah! Whoa, check out all the weird-looking food here! Uh-huh, that's what I made. And it looks like food from another world, you know? Thank you for this food. Let's eat! <laughs> Do people really eat this stuff? I can't even decipher the contents of this specimen. I'll have to make a big batch of stomach medicine. You all look like you think it tastes terrible. Oh, well, of course it does. I mean, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, I think the soup is just delicious. Thank you, Tusky. Shi Fong made the soup. It's awful. I can't eat this garbage. Even pigs get better slop than this. <laughs> Come on, home, eh? Were you born in a barn? Even if this stuff is awful, you don't... Give it to me. Give me all the food Miyaka made. Your face is turning blue. So what? I said I'm gonna eat it! Why am I such a screw-up? I wanted to make him happy, that's all. I wonder if he hates me now. I can't just split up with Tamahome like this. I have to know how he really feels and why. Oh, I feel like my stomach's gonna burst. Oh, Excuse me. The master told me to bring you some medicine. The truth is, the master told me to do whatever I could do to help you forget about her. <coughs> that silly old man, what could he be thinking? I wouldn't mind it. I mean, if you wouldn't mind it. Your love can never be consummated. Well, if that's the case... <gasps> Miyaka! Oh, man! This is straight out of some soap opera. So, tell me what you think of this latest plot twist, big brother, huh? Shut up! It is better this way. I know it's better. At least no one's dying. Yeah, that's true. Morioka. Next stop, Morioka Station. Please gather all your belongings. We will be arriving shortly.
Which can never be consummated. The time for parting is destined to arrive. Lady Miyaka and Tamahome have resigned themselves to accept the curse of their ill fated love. Are they powerless in the face of an approaching unchangeable future? Next time, Unbreachable War. I still have tender feelings for you.